Hey guys, Coach Chantra here back with another H4 Live workout. This workout is intended for those who have no equipment, need a quick and easy workout, and something that they can just do with just a mat, maybe a little bit of water, a good amount of work. So let's just jump straight into it. I like to start every workout with a nice warm up. So we're going to start with a nice 30 seconds of a back chest stretch. Let's go. Arms behind the back. We're going to stretch it out. Let's keep this up. Higher we raise our arms behind our back, the bigger stretch that we can get. And trust me, for this workout, you're going to need a nice, good stretch for this. We're going to keep this up for just a little bit longer. And for our next exercise, we're going to move into alternating high knees. Get ready. We're going to switch it up in three, two, one. Let's go. Alternating high knees. I like to lift my legs with my alternating hands at the same time. Keep this going. Yep, about halfway. Next up, we have some butt kicks. We're keep, keep it light and easy. Not really a jog, just a nice run in place with the back of our heels reaching our glutes. In three, two, one. Right and easy. I like to swing my arms to get the pace going. What I like to say in that condition is let the breath guide the pace. And we're breathing easy for this warm up. For our next exercise, we have lateral hip openers, which is almost like a lunge, but we're just opening up our hips. I'm going to get into that in five, four, three, two, one. Sitting nice and tall, let's get into our lateral hip openers. Keep the upper body nice and tall. Chest lifted. Let's keep it going. Let's keep this up for another five more seconds. We're going to go into that T-spine stretch. We're going to go into our tabletop position. Three, two, One of our classic age four workout warm ups. We're just going to open up this ceiling. Give me five on both sides. I'm going to alternate. Get five on my left. Last one. Nice and limber. All right, guys. Now, if you need anything for this war workout, grab some water, grab a towel, get ready. Just pause this video. I'll be all set for you when you're ready. All right, guys. Hopefully, we all have our water or towel and anything else that can make our workout nice and comfortable. This is going to be a nice sweater, so just get ready for it. So let me break down the format real quick. We have two different circuits featuring four different exercises, each circuit with a finisher at the end. Exercises will go 30 seconds to 40 seconds to 30 seconds to 40 seconds with the finisher varying as we go. And at the, of course, at the end of each round, we have a little bit of a rest period. So we're going to complete each circuit twice every time around. And at the end, we have a little bit of core. So let me break down the format of the first circuit. We have the four exercises. So the first of the four exercises, we have skaters. Remember with our skaters, we're going to start standing nice and tall, setting our feet behind our other foot at a nice quick pace. If you can, do a nice leap from side to side. Swing those arms to really get the momentum going with that as well. Then for our second exercise, we have off-knee shoulder taps or an alternative. So the off-knee shoulder taps, we'll start in a tabletop position, slightly lifting our knee off the ground. And we're just going to alternate shoulders, taps, right hand, left shoulder, left hand, and right shoulder. Otherwise, if that's just some sort of a problem, don't worry. we got high planks of shoulder taps instead. Same concept, just completing the shoulder tap just as well, getting that core activation with this exercise. 
Then for our third exercise, we have the lateral shuffles. Starting nice and tall again. We're going to start with adding a touch to the bottom, shuffling in a nice crouch position, touching it at the other end, coming back, shuffling again. But we're going to do this at a nice, moderate pace if we are able to. Then for our fourth and final exercise, we have the plank to push ups. With our plank to push ups, we're going to start in a nice high plank position again. In, with our, in our high plank position, we're going to morph into a low plank, starting with my right, going to my left, pushing up with my right, coming back to my left. We got that for 40 seconds. Otherwise, we can just do a normal high plank for 40 seconds or a low plank for 40 seconds. Whatever is more easier and comfortable for you. And at the end, we have a finisher, of course. With our finisher, we have burpees and it off. We have that for 25 seconds. So, our burpees, you can do it in any variation that you like. If you have an inclined surface, please feel free to use that. Otherwise, you can do burpees in your way possible. So, I'll do burpees by starting popping up, going down, driving the knee up, coming back to the top up. We got that for 25. Otherwise, you can do it on an inclined surface and drive your knees in your way possible too. So, we have those four exercises with the finisher featuring or making its feature in the second round of our first circuit. Sound okay? Don't worry. You don't have to worry about the exercise or exercises. I will call them out as we go. So get ready. Let's get started. In three, two, one. The skater from side to side. Nice, easy pace for this first round. We got two rounds to go. So keep it easy. But let's still make it a little difficult if you can. Nice side to side. Swing those arms. Going. If I'm using blowing, you have it. We're going to switch it out. Three, two, one. We're going to do this off the shoulder pass or the high plank shoulder pass. Let's get started in three, two, one. for another 10 more seconds. Keep it up. We're switching up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We got the lateral shuffle to touch. Let's get started in 3, 2, 1. So at that touch, get that nice quick shuffle to the bottom. and slow. Catch that breath. Let it guide the pace. Keep it up. We got a little bit longer to go. Maybe 10 more seconds. Then we got a little bit of a rest. 30 seconds of rest. Even up there. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's get that 30 seconds of rest. Catch our breath. Get that sip of water. Get ready for our second round. At the end of this round, we have a little bit of a finisher. Woo. Nice and easy going, right? Nice and quick. This is a good, easy going workout. Don't worry about it. Get the day started or get finish the day out. Right. 
hopefully we're not too comfortable because we're going to get started in five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to start with those skaters. 30 seconds, nice and quick. This is our last skater. Nice and easy. Keep the upper chest lifted. The body nice and focused. Finish in three, two, one. We got 40 seconds of that off knee shoulder tap. Let's get started in three, two, one. Keep it up. Get those eyes looking forward. Let's keep that body nice and safe. Remember, if the off knee shoulder tap is a little much, you can go to that high plate. High plank shoulder tap. Give me 10 more seconds. About five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, guys. We're going to go with that lateral shuffle to touch. Remember, we're adding a touch at the bottom, and we're going to add a touch at the other side. We're going to get started in three, two, one. Tired at this part, it's okay. You can move into just a normal plank if you'd like. We're halfway there. Ten more seconds. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, guys. Now, we have our finisher here. We have the 25 seconds of the burpees. Let's get started in three, two, one. Let's go. some water in 30 seconds of rest. I'll explain the next format. Alright guys, hopefully that last circle was nice and easy for you, enough for you guys. So let's keep that heart rate elevated still. So we're going to follow the same format for this circuit. Four exercises, two rounds, rest at the end of each round. And of course at the end of the second round we have our 25 second finish. So the format goes 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds once again. So let me demo these exercises for you. So for our first exercise, we have a quick feet forward, backwards, so much like what we do in the gym. We'll go quick, forward, backwards, both feet moving forward at the same time, or both one feet moving forward at the same time, moving back one at a time as well. Then for our second exercise, we have the high plank arm reach out. So going back into our high plank on the mat, keeping those eyes looking forward, we're only lifting one arm at a time, activating our core as we go. We have this for 40 seconds. Otherwise, if this is a little bit too much, we can go with that low plank and just do this plank push up. And also, if that's a little bit too much, that's okay. We can just do a normal high plank or a low plank 
for the 40 seconds, if that works better for you. Now, for our third exercise, we have a jogging place, or honestly, more like a running place, since it's only 30 seconds. So I'm asking you to go a little harder if you can. So with our jogging place, remember, we're gonna use our arm place, really keep that nice jogging place. Imagine we're running up a nice cut to go. We got that for 30 seconds. Then for our fourth and final exercise, we have a T-spine push-up. So going back to the row high points again, we're alternating as we go. We're doing this for 40 seconds. So we're gonna start out by doing a normal push-up. And when we're back to the top position, we're gonna rotate to the top, sending one arm out to the sky. Rotating as we go. We got this for 40 seconds. So, after that, after the second round, we have our finisher, of course. We have that for 25 seconds. So with our finisher, we have speed squats. So remember with our speed squats, we're doing a normal, nice and tall stance to begin with. Drop it down to a nice, fast squat for 25 seconds. Really burn it out with what you've got. So to reiterate, we have four exercises. We have that nice, quick feet forward backward. Second exercise being that high plank reach, arm reach out, or the low plank punch out. Third exercise being that jog in place, more like running in place, imagining yourself going up the hill for 30 seconds. Fourth exercise, we have that east spine push up, alternating as we go. So starting with our right side, moving to my left side, alternating. Then, obviously, we have our finisher, 25 seconds at the end of our second round with a nice, good speed squat. All right, guys, if the music was paused before, let's get that running again. Let's keep it going. Let's finish out this workout in a nice circuit in three, two, one. Let's get that nice quick feed, 30 seconds. Since we're nice and warmed up, I want your effort to be somewhere around six and a half, maybe to a seven right now. Keep it up, about halfway there. Give me five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch that 40 seconds with a high plank reach out. In three, two, one, let's go. All right, looking forward, lock that core in, squeeze those hips in. Finish out. We got ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, guys. We got that jog in place. We're doing that for thirty seconds. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's keep it up. We're going up a hill. Even those long, powerful tries if you can. Imagine yourself you push yourself up the hill. Let's go. Let's keep it up. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Nice work, guys. Let's end now for this round. We got 40 seconds of that T spine push up. Let's move. In three. Two, one, let's go. Let's go to that high plank. Push up normally. And we're going to go rotate our spine. It's a lot to ask for for 40 seconds. These push ups are nice and slow. Don't worry, we got 30 seconds of rest at the end of this. Five more seconds. Let's end up with one more round. In three, two, one. There we go, guys. Give yourself 30 seconds of rest. You burned it. Keep that heart rate elevated. Go. So, got a nice 30 seconds. Woo! Luckily,
Luckily, I have this breeze to help me out. So hopefully, you have a nice fan going where your room is nice and cool. And you guys just want to work out the nice, quick, and sweaty one. Hopefully. We're not thinking about getting off. We're just letting ourselves wanting to keep it going nice and easy. So let's get started in about 10 seconds. So we got three, two, one. Let's get started. Just a nice, quick beat for backwards. Ten more seconds. Easy going. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, guys. So we got a lot of work workout, or muscle exercise for the center. That's key spine rotating push up. Let's get started. Ready for that finisher? We have 25 seconds of that speed squat. Let's get started in three, two, one. Nice and quick. Full squats, full depth. Let's keep it up. We got about halfway. Nice and quick workout. After this, we'll double our circuit load. We're going to go straight into core. Give me three more seconds. Three, two, one. Nice work, guys. Great job today. Really easy. Two quick circuits, two rounds each. See? In the blink of an eye, it was already done. You killed it, crushed it. Good job. Grab some water. Let's get ready for core. When you're ready, give this video a nice pause, real quick. All right, guys. So we have our last little bit here. We have our core to finish out with. So, our first exercise in core, our format for core, my bad. Three exercises you want to have nice, long, intense core, a lot of static core work. So, let's break right into it. We got three exercises I'm going to demonstrate. 
So for our first exercise, we're going to start our backs going to that tree top position. So lifting our legs slightly off the ground, we're going to push into our quads as if we're trying to get our legs into the ground, but we're going to get that max core squeeze. We're going to hold this for 40 seconds, then we're going to immediately alternate back into a, a tabletop position. When we're in that tabletop position, we're going to do alternating bird dogs. So my right leg, or my right hand will go out with my left leg, my left hand will go out with my right leg. We're going to do this for a minute. Then for our third and final exercise, we're going to go back onto our backs, and we're going to do what I like to call a body roll-up. So with our body roll-up, we're going to go completely 180, and we're going to lift our upper body, morph it into our lower body tapping our toes if you can, then we're going to slowly morph back. We're going to do this for a good 90 seconds. Nice, quick morph into our body. So we got the tree top for 40 seconds, then we have the alternating bird dog for a minute, and then we have our body roll up for a minute and 30 seconds. All right, guys, let's finish this workout nice and easy today. We got that 40 seconds of that tree top position. Let's get started. Three, two, one. Roll. You're gonna hold this for 40 seconds. Really put a lot of pressure into your quads if you can by pushing into them. Lift that shoulder off the ground, or lift your shoulders off the ground to get the most out of it. Let's keep it going. We got a little bit longer. Finish up, we got 15 more seconds. Keep it up, we got 10. In five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, guys. Let's end out with that 90 seconds of that body roll. Remember, we're starting all with our body going 180 against the ground. Rolling up, touching our foot. Last 90 seconds. Let's get started. In three, two, one. Lift up with our core, fold in with our core. Retract back with our core, slowly lowering ourselves to the ground.
keep it up. We got like tag. Let's shot in five, four, three, two, one. Nice work out there today, guys. Easy going. You know, nice two quick circuits, two rounds each circuit with that little bit of core in that. Hopefully, you're going to keep coming back to our YouTube channel. We love making these videos for you. We love working with you guys. Just keep coming. We love to have you around. Thanks for Coach Johnson signing off.